Kill. And this is a bloodbath of the game already. A kill a minute. He has no health on her, so he has to walk all the way back to base. So no. while good to kill the Veno, it's you want to be able to capitalize by getting like extra CS. Oh, middle lane. He's taking a ton of damage. You'd need two more hits. Oh, oh the south. My God. The low attack speed. Miracle. I mean, he just straight up outplays Sumail there with the, the healing cell. Uh, Sumail kind of outplayed himself there. Right in the face of No Tail. FY survives on 22 HP. Ah, the classic. Let's just kill Enchantress. <laughs> they have to commit so much for it. Sep does get the kill. He had to skewer RP. Just the solo inch in the end to get the kill. Oh, perfect timing on the Fissure. Yeah, Sep, he wants to finish this. The Shockwave, FY! He got enough regeneration from the Shrine. Now Sep will TP out. Is there a disable? There is not. X Nova. Same time, he's also constantly getting harassed low and low. X. Like Jerk's dying to a neutral. Yeah, he actually... <laughs> It, that was maybe not intentional. Well, intentional in the sense he just didn't want to die to heroes. Tower going to go down. Is there going to be a nine side? Does not look like OG can get in close. And S4 gets the last hit for it. Good chunk of gold his way. Mid lane. Thompson's been gone on here. Sumail wants the solo kill. It's going to be close here. The illusion may kill off Sumail. Can he get the kill? Oh, gets him. He gets the kill on Thompson. Takes down Sumail. They're tipping wow. Sumail. Like TNC dodged, basically. Mm, I think right now, newbie. Because of the first blood, are in a better laning situation as S Triple C. Gonna get caught on here. Yeah, Cuckoo. Managed to sneak up to him, slows him down. Fairy nice Fire turns kill. around, SCC turns around, picks up that kill. And Armel cannot put any more pressure on SCC. Dude, the Chinese uses Arcane Rune, a really good rune to have here. So he can spam enchant more. But just going to 1 1 4 build, at least for now. I'm sure he'll get another enchant totem at 5, perhaps. I will see. He maybe just wants that longer stun duration from Aftershock. This is a build where when you get six with your Echo Slam, you can get more kills here. It gets a rotation from Dark Willow. Needs to... Have, He's got a bottle too. Yeah, Willow's kind of blocking him a bit here, but at the same time, both of these players are pretty slow. Goes for the Fissure block. Does he get it? He does. Great. Oh, yeah, he does. Wasn't sure for a second there. Great play from No One. Using that Ancient's area to line up the Fissure and get the full-on block. He's able to get out. I don't want Chow. I, I, I really just want to follow him around because it's a Ricky, but ZYD is making moves up top. Going for Kaka again with the Laguna. Can't quite finish him! Oh. Well played indeed. Pango's favor. He has to do this, I think, because Pango's base damage is so bad. He's hitting for 50 right now. Yeah. Tiny hits for 70. That means he's going to get denied a lot. Um, so I think it's more important that you pull the creep wave away like this. I think that was definitely the right move. Tiny grabs a tree and suddenly you're looking Stronger lasting tiny. Yeah, Boboka's gonna die bottom though, maybe. Leaps for oh, oh, runs through the oh, The stun follows you, you don't disjoint that and take care of myself. And left he it to his death. And him top lane though. So we'll see if aggressive can stay alive. He does have status resistance here, thirty percent. But with level three two, maybe it'll be hard. Yep. Here comes Ice 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 with the Rolling Thunder. He wants to bring down this tiny, looking for a cliff none nearby, which is gonna cause a bit of a delay for the second stun. The tombstone being right clicked down, but the stuns from Ice 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 will help keep it alive. The terrorize hits too nicely, and that helps them bring down the tomb, keep tiny in fighting shape as Baboka will bring down Ice Ice Ice, save the tiny. What a sick willow play. And they got a tower here. that killed isn't as important as Mineski would have liked, but even still, another dead hero. Alchemist goes back to farm. They're doing a great job this game, just getting these little picks and getting back to farming. That's a smart decision. For those who don't know, you can most racing players you see will hold a skill point. He actually has a skill point he can level ulti whenever he wants, but if you're going to die twice with a 200 second cooldown, definitely not worth it. Not playing. Nice, nice, nice. Almost gets the solo kill on Baboka, but gets. He might be able to get him. Out juked. He guesses it, right? Does not. Nope. He's still got another new. One more hit. And it's going to be a curse ground too. So Ice Ice Ice, is he actually going to die for this one? Baboka, has he outplayed him? He has. Oh, Baboka. Global Silence coming in mid. Going to bring Saving down his buddy for the moment. The buyback from Tinker comes now as well. They're trying to force down one of these heroes at the very least. And they are going to kill off Eternal Envy. In the meantime, Huskar Jabs. pops his BKB. Jumps in for this. The boys oh, all the way to Fountain yet again. But he can't do this. Can they kill him off? He's doing He's jumping away with the Manta Lucius. He can't figure out which one's real. They kill off the Huskar. Moon, you madman. Oh, this is coming. Mushi looking for Universe. He hits him with the Avalanche, but not quite within range. This fight is getting very spread out there's and chaotic. There's still a Scythe here for Universe. Oh, if they can find him, though, there's the Hex. They got it caught. 
They got him potentially killed if Tinker dies right now, but the decrypt jab saving his buddy. There's going to be the meteor hammer lay down. Mushi needs to do absolutely everything, and then maybe even a little bit more. He tries to toss his Tinker away. So but low. Taking the damage. He's no. able to blink out. He's able to survive for the moment. Tinker doing it just barely. Oh, he pops the BKB immediately, and now it's time to run. But if they can bait out and wait out this BKB, you can potentially fight oh, after Silver Edge, possibly here. On to Abed. They disarm him. He's jumping forward. You can't take that one off. He's still stuck there doing absolutely nothing. They're able to force the Tinker away. He's living, but DJ able to find the Tinker. Another decrypt saving their buddy. He's hexed, but he's living everything for Moon. Can they keep him alive? The overgrowth as well. He's mantining it away, trying to survive. Moon decrypt again. Still able to live. Manta's Manta. He's living. What are you doing to me, baby? Fnatic, you can't finish this, man. They had a lot of time to plan this as well, Liquid. Keep it in mind, that kill on the Wraith King took so long that they could communicate, all right, if they overcommit, oh, I can buy back and come back in. It's a bait. It's an ultimate bait. It's just the illusion. Now the real team of Team Liquid come through. 33, he did break the smoke almost instantly, thanks to the fact that he was there. Miracle, you don't have ulti? Play, but they're jumping over. Miracle, he jumps in close, but then the space created with Terrorize and Chain Frost. All the damage the Team Liquid need to win this fight. Pycat 33, they just don't have the extra teammate. Pycat, he oh. wants this kill, but he can't even claim Miracle. Denied, denied, denied. Pycat into the trees. They'll get the stun out. And I'll take their all dead. Tribute LD. So is now feeling like it's pretty safe to do so. Earth Spirit, though, in the neighborhood in a pretty cheeky little spot here where he could go for a Roche steal. Yeah, get your Twitch clips ready, guys. Whoa. This could be it. Armel. Misses the arrow of the sun. Strike going to give some vision. So now we can time it. He has a very good idea of when Roach is going to go down. Zai, poised to strike. Here comes the roll with a stun to follow up. He, gets he times it. it perfectly. Gets the last hit as well. Zai, Dota, dies immediately. Wraith King, though, the one who dies on the TNC site side, does have reincarnation immediately. Arrow hits the DK as he goes blinking, and they kill the Husker. Wraith King's got no way to survive his second life. He's going to go down as well. And 33 somehow doesn't die. Zai with a magical little play to get Optic Gaming back in game number two. They're not done yet. They're going to get our mail. The Sunstrike, not enough to kill him off, but Zai is there to finish it. Well-deserved kill Jeez, going that, his uh, way. JRX is lower than he is, so he focuses on his bug first. Siler's going for it, though. Siler. That, okay. Well, okay, the Shrine goes just down getting his bottles. He's just getting his, his bottle. bottle. Yeah. Okay, I thought he was going for... Seb. Gets hit by the stun. Does have a raindrop that'll protect him a little bit, but the follow up here from Fate is going to make this one? difficult. Jarex does manage to get a fish block. Jarex is so Siler. good. He does have a Shikuchi, but he's still stuck inside the tower range, so he's dead, and they can't Yo, get out of the shadow realm. Too. Fate is dead as well. What a hit from Jarex. Fade will die. DDC is going to be caught up by the Treants. Get in front of him and you could body block him. Oh, keep up that body block. Seb, just keep doing it to him. Just keep down on DDC. Another block in. The block boys return and BJ Thunder lose their tri lane. Look alive, Seb. Flex get on a the free pick up. HFN, maybe King RD. They do have the Necrophos back here. They spot the Necrophos immediately. Blood Rage go for the kill. And with the silence up, Yule Scepter himself does have the Ghost Round for a little bit. Blood Rite is going to do a lot of damage. He's trying to go for the Reaper Sight, but he's just stunned too much by the Cold Snap. Puppy's going to die, but he's just forcing the fight around the rest of Pain, hoping to be able to clean up more Puppy's heroes. And he might be able to get away. Finger of Death finally finished him off. HFN tries to go for the, the time lock, but he can't get it off. Ooh, mid one just outplayed him. Too far this time, as they are going to pick up Captain of Optic. I thought the Hellbear might give him the clap for a moment there, but Duster in some trouble. He's getting dove. Pie Cat. Just no remorse. He just goes in for him. Zip. Double damage. Poor Wyvern abandoned up top, sent to try and hold back the wave. Yeehaw, giving him the toss, but it's CC and C. It's going to be sending him to the grave, and all over the map right now, Optic are just. Double just... kill for the Monkey King as he finds X Nova on the Crystal Maiden. They have surprisingly good catch on the side of OG. I wasn't able to expect them to get that many kills, but they're really good at sitting in with a Ukon's command. Longs it. Awesomeness. In he goes. On to Jarex. The cold embrace there from No Tail, though. Thompson with the boundless strike, holding back Sonus. They've got the enchant totem. They've got good control, but the sleep from F1. to be set up to do everything that he just did and it's so beautiful to watch it oh they're gonna find one will they though mind control has ulti goes back gets all his oh life back God. it's gonna be gh on the backside hits a nice one miracle as well with the combos they get the reaper side that doesn't do anything sumail is dead no buyback arteezy with the dieback s4 just gonna run away and now liquid 
they're gonna get the game because it'll be GG called by EG. Full vision of OG. Yeah, he sees Ana farming these Ancients right oh, now. Oh, Ana. FY just giving so much information for the team. He's got eyes on him. Get the punch on the wrong target, but the snowball pass will catch Anna. Anna, he's in trouble. The blood right silence connects. He's got the man to back up in a second, but can he really play his way out of this one? He cannot. Do you deal with it is? Looks like he is going for an Octa ring, perhaps, for almost permanent. The sentry's down there. They see Thompson, but Thompson, he's already quick with the play. The tornado into EMP. Cold Sap as well. They've got the hex, but there won't be any further jumping. They just poke at Arma. They're trying to make space. They got the Mega Creeps! So they're looking to fight here. They feel oh, they strong. Are. They know that this Echo Slam is still on cooldown. How long till RP is back up? RP's there. They look for the setup on Tuame. They get the chains onto him. Jump forward. Seb! Need oh! The RP just on the tip. Pulls him in, but it's not enough to buy time to kill uh -oh. him. It's Arme! There with the turnaround. Pass the Sunder onto Anna. Anna's able to remnant out to the side. Chalice hiding in the trees. Topton starting to throw out the lightning as Arme. Chalice backing away. Skewer forward for Seb as he clears out the trees. Chalice still with a firefly getting himself away. Will jump himself away from the Nimbus. Backs himself up. X Nova's got to be careful. He's incredibly low. They're looking to set up with the torrent. Arme has been sprouted. The Stolen Fisher for Jerex, out onto Arme, but it finds it with a slam, is it enough? No it's not, LGD they've lost two yet again, but they have managed to find two in return. Anna still alive, the Flame Guard keeping it fine again, the slide of Fist cuts down a second double kill for Anna. Chalice surrounded by seven Anna here in the trees, as oh, she 